going on, everybody? Yeah, exactly, Schultz. But that's my thing is, why aren't they starting Peterman? Why are you starting Geno Smith? It's not like you need to figure out what he's going to be able to do. He's not going to be able to do much. He hasn't been able to do much since 2013 when he came out. He's been working out. That's about all he's been doing, though. But uh, uh, I tell you, it's crazy. That's, that, that whole place, man, that whole coaching staff is gone, if not the, G, the GM, once the season's over. They're gonna clean house and rebuild, and I think that's what I think that's why Eli's just like. But I give Eli kudos because he said that, that I guess uh, McAdoo offered him just to go ahead and start, and then they would just bring the other quarterbacks in after him just to keep his streak going. And he was like, this, it, it, "Why wouldn't you? Why the streak is meaningless if I do that?" So kudos to him. But uh, but still, that's just a bad situation in New York. Uh, yeah, and see, I can get that. Like, even Joe Webb, like, he did decent for us when he played for us. Gino, what was it on, like, highly questionable? Day? It was like, what is he, like, they, something like, he, he's got, like, two wins in his career or something like that. Like, Gino's just, man. I could see starting Peterman, though, figuring out what he's got in him. But I guess you need to just figure out if you're going to re-sign Gino next year. But, I mean, that would be an obvious no and just go for a quarterback later in the rounds. And then pick up a veteran in free agency. Just somebody to influence, and then just let Peterman roll. Oh, really? That's awesome, Troy. Awesome. I'm glad to hear that, man. I'm glad to hear that. Well, how's everyone doing tonight? I hope you guys are all good. Uh, there's a few of you in here, so we'll get started. This is everything from today uh, on eBay. We got a few tonight. We got 16 Infinity, 16 Black Gold, Hip Rate Series 3 Baseball. We've done really well on that set so far. We have a bat, a mini helmet, baseball jersey coming as well, leaf jersey, and a full size. So we got a lot to come tonight. That full size, I believe there's still a few teams left on it. It is going on eBay right now. So y'all check that one out for sure. Hey, Christina, how's it going? I hope you're doing well tonight. It's a Tuesday night, a little shorty night tonight. Got some NBA on TV, but beyond that, there's not much going on other than Cops on Spike. Cops is always fun to watch, though. That and the, that new show, Live PD, that, that show is quite entertaining. I've, I've noticed that. They shoot a lot of it in South Carolina. I've seen that as well. Like, Vegas and South Carolina seem to be the hot spots. Florida, too, always. So... But yeah, guys, we're going to get started. We'll roll down the list just like you see on the screen. We'll start with Infinity, go to Black Gold, work our way through. We will get all the way down into the memorabilia stuff. That's usually towards the end. Guys, I spent all afternoon packaging. You guys that get ready to go. I'm going to try and ship after everything is done through tonight. And try and get you guys out over in the next day or two. So hopefully tomorrow, I will hopefully try and get it all done tomorrow. I've got to work for a little while tomorrow, but I think I can come home in the afternoon and maybe knock a good bit of it out. So we'll see. I will definitely do my best, though. But let's get rolling. Let's start with some Infinity. Again, I only ship once a week just so I can keep the free shipping thing going. That's all. I just combine everything up into one, and then I roll it out. And then Fantasy Breaks will also go out. Art Fantasy Breaks, excuse me. The, uh, the Mega Mixer Break will also go out as well. For those of you waiting on those. So what's up, NSKA? I will message you soon. I'm, I, I think I found something you might want. I just gotta remember where I put it. Alright, let's do a 16 Infinity 2 Boxer, number 2. Y'all let me have the Cardinals in this one. I appreciate it. If you see my name up there, it just means that nobody bought the team. That's all. It doesn't happen often, but it does happen here and there. Sirrah, crazy what the Ravens might be. Dodge, Windy City fan, Wabo Hunter. There's Chris with the brownies as well. Yeah, I'm Sack Steelers fan. Heffin Law, welcome with the Packers. Troy, be good, brother. I'll talk to you soon. I got your. I'll, I'll put my your number in my phone, and I will text you here after the break's over with, man. But enjoy the time with the wife and the baby, man. And, and just be safe. I'll see you soon, dude. Ken with the Texas Steelers fan might be stupid with the Chiefs. KGBG Wabo and Kim 29, welcome with the Fins. Walleye, Skull Vikings, man. Nick Vicente, Yamsack, Hector, 
Had a few people in this one. Steelers fan with the Raiders. P. Walnuts, welcome with the Eagles. Yamsack might be Dabo Woody. And MM2 at the bottom. With Washington. All right, so here's the stack. No, I never do them in room, man. Are you a Cardinals guy? or? So here's our stack. Yeah, the bats up there in the very front. But there's our black gold over there. Leaf jersey, full-size helmet. We got a little prime six down there for the memorabilia. All of our archives for the baseball stuff. So we got three baseball memorabilia breaks tonight. But we're going to start with that infinity that's sitting right there behind the bat. We'll bring him up. The 16 infinity. The Kleenex box looks like a tissue box. <laughs> Scott. <laughs> Hey, Scott, did you take care of that thing, man? I meant to ask you. I, I meant to write an email. I forgot to. I'm sorry. I've just been busy. Busy, busy. Trying to prep for Christmas and all that stuff. I try to get all the Christmas stuff done early, and then that way it's over with. You know what I mean? And we can actually enjoy the season. <laughs> right, here we go. So, six cards, of course, per box, just like it says on top there. It's three hits. I'll read it just off the box. One insert or parallel. Three hits or memorabilia cards. It's usually one auto and two patch. Okay, cool. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Oh, you need something from every team? What's up, Josh? How's it going? All right, let's go. See, it's three hits. Always looking, and these cards, we're looking for the blacks. Those are numbered the eights. Eights are hard to catch in this set, but when you catch them, they're beautiful cards. All right, make sure I'm focused is good. I'll fix up a little bit. Tidy that up a touch. Here we go. We will start Mr. 20 Door set. I just love the cards. like the tilt them off. They're all clear acetate. I, just, I love This is one of the coolest base cards from 16. Clay Matthews. For the Packers, again, these are not numbered. The next one is be Thurman Thomas, 55 of 88 for those Buffalo Bills. Might be. Oh, yeah, man. I, and I, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, I, I, you look at the top comment in the room. That was the first thing I said. I don't see why they just didn't go ahead and start Peterman. Screw Geno, man. Go right to Peterman. Let's see what he's got. Hunter Henry, 76 of 88 for Los Angeles. The Charger now. KGBG, 70. That's sweet, dude. Good way to start us off. Duel, Infinity Swatch. Of Mr. Henry. Go charges. Tyler Boyd next, man. All 88s in this thing. Look at this. 30 to 88 on this one as well. Another dual swatch. This time for those Bengals. Bengals. Wild Bow Hunter. Yeah, but I tell you, I give him props for saying it. Because they offered him to start the game and then he, he'd play, play the first quarter and then they'd, they'd put in somebody else beyond that. And he said, no, if you guys are going to play him, just play him. I think he personally just wants the coaching staff to get fired. And I don't blame him if he does. And then Michael Thomas will end this off. This is where we get our ink. 99 of 288 for those Saints. Yam sack. He's one of the simple autos, but it's a cool auto. I do like his auto for the Saints. And the little number three at the bottom. That's neat. Love the autos when they come on that silver back like that. All right, number two. Yeah, but I can't. I can't believe. Uh, I don't. Like, I mean, yeah, Eli's part of the problem, sure, because he is the quarterback. But, but and I'm not the, I'm not an Eli guy by any means. Ask anybody. I'm not an Eli guy. I love the Detective Manning face is my favorite thing. I'm bummed I'm not gonna be able to see it the rest of the year. But uh, it wasn't his. It wasn't all his fault. It wasn't even half his fault. Braverman for the Bears will start us off. He's had a rough year, though. Don't get me wrong. Kaepernick for the Niners. Aaron Burbridge back to back Niners for San Fran. This will be the parallel version. The Sack one. How about an Emmett Smith for Dallas as our first first hit? Sack, you got the Cowboys as well. Retired numbers, dual swatch number 22. Nice hit, dude. All right, we got a redemption second, so I'm actually going to bring that third hit forward. So I think we got two autos in this one. Who did we get as the end? We got James Starks to 288, 269 of 288. We did infinite ink for the Packers. That's nice, man. Nice hit. Half lost, and that'll be you. And then the redemption. Come on, big. Going rookie autographs, card number eighteen. It will be Chris Jones. I'll put. I'll push that focus up. There you go. 
Chris Jones. Let me check the Beckett, see where he goes. Yeah, I get for Webb, sure. But, yeah, Gino, that's an insult, man. That's an insult and a half. Is he the punter? No, the defensive end for the Chiefs. He's the, yeah, the defensive end for the Chiefs. He goes to Kansas City. So that is stupid 2017. That one is still good. 321-18 is your, uh, your expiration on this redemption. So scratch him and redeem him. You're good to go. Not expired for a change. I do break a lot of the older sets, though, so that's why we get the expired redemptions here and there. But typically, Panini is good on them. They usually will honor them or replace them with something. Sometimes better. I've heard some good stories. I've heard some not-so-good stories. My not-so-good story, personally, is with Topps. Sending me Darren McFadden booklets to cover. I forget what I, what they were covering, but it, I ended up getting Darren McFadden booklets. I mean, they granted, they were at a five-star, but it was Darren McFadden. I was like, come on. For real? Alright, let's do some black gold next. I'm gonna kick. Let me move these archives over a touch. We can roll this bat back just a bit here. Get some more space. These black gold boxes are pretty big. We did quite well in 14 earlier this week. We hit a nice LT 14 karat gold piece. I wish you could get those in the later years, but 14 was the only year that they did the 14 karat gold pieces. I'm a huge fan of 16, though. The, the base cards are so sweet in this set. I do love them. As silly as that sounds, they really do have a nice base card in 16 black gold. All right, let's do it. 16 black gold, number two. Paul of Norris would like to thank us for stopping in. Took the whole chunk. Good to see you, man. Welcome. And what a way to step in, man. Vivid look at the Ravens. But beyond that, you took everybody from Arizona through Cleveland. Woody might be. Got those Broncos and the Cowboys. Ricky Robbie, 618. Get the pack. Ham sack with the Colts. Paul and Chris with the Jack Schultz. Chief in it. Ken getting the Chargers. Tyson Z, welcome with the Rams. Lightstetter, Schultz, and SKA, Dodge, and Harrison. Yeah, McFadden retired today. I heard that too. Yeah, he did retire. That is official. A. Guggenmos with the Steelers. Paul and Norris. His best years were in college, not in the NFL. He did all right, though, for uh, Dallas at the end. Chevy, Woody, and DMP. At the bottom. What do y'all think about this whole... Der anybody that's been watching the whole Derrick Rose thing? Where he's like just taking a break from basketball to contemplate retirement because it's just beating on his mind and his body so much, all the injuries he's taken. I totally could see that with him. He's had a rough go. But I mean, I still, I still put, like, Grant Hill had it worse, I think. You know, I think of Willis McGahee in the NFL, you know, it had the, the you know. Pull some Adam Thielens. Did you get my, well, you did get my boys. I just noticed that. Yeah, you did. I didn't put A and B together when I was reading the list. No one you she'll she'll pull some killer Viking out of here. Just cause I'm breaking it and can't touch it. But I admire your love for my Vikings cards. It's sweet man. I appreciate it. Skull Vikings. This box is on tight. What the heck? There we go. Gotta be real easy with the cards while I tear I'll tear a box apart to get some cards out. See what's the damage. So of course, as you know, it's two packs per box. Each pack has five cards. I didn't like, personally, how they displayed this, how they advertised this in 16, because the way they did this was our second box we opened. This was the first, so I'll do it in order I opened them. Um, but they advertised it as every box has six hits, and that's not the case. It's like every box is guaranteed four, just like the other years, but you have the potential to get the extra ones. Is he really? I didn't see. I didn't see that. I'll check into that. What happened? Wow. All right. So I'm going. Yep. Here we go. Perfect. All right. So you get a couple of base. 
and then you get two guaranteed hits, one auto and one patch. And then there's some other either hit or parallel, something of that sort is typically what will come out. We've been doing pretty well on getting on getting the extra hits, but it's never guaranteed. All right, we will start with Mr. Drew Brees, Golden Arm Shoot 225. For the New Orleans Saints, Deion Sanders in that old school Falcons uniform for Atlanta. First hit, we will go Carson Wentz for the Eagles. Who was looking for him? Emma Harrison, 4 0, 1 9 2. This is the guy. Ricky Quad Gold prospecting, 195 of 199 for Philly. All right, number two will be Chris Moore for those Baltimore Ravens. MJ Vivawa. 32. This is my favorite auto in the whole set. Metallic marks. It's definitely the best pen. You can see the camera reflection of how glossy that piece is that they sign on. It is absolutely beautiful. It is the best ink in this set. Bar none is on these cards, the metallic marks cards. Nice hit for the Ravens. And then the little Bobo we got is a Jakeem Grant black gold rookie signature. So we got a freebie and we got an auto to boot as our freebie. Rookie autograph, 16 of 225. Again, on-card auto. Two on-cards on that one. Nice hits. For the Finns, Latstetter, 1978. I didn't see that. I'll check it out. That's crazy. I forgot all about Ben Gordon. Until you mentioned his name tonight. Played for a while. One forward. Hey, Gold Rush Jim Brown, six or eighteen of two twenty-five. That's sweet. And again, it's shadow box. It's hard to tell them in the camera, but it is a really nice looking card. Nice for Cleveland. Cool parallel, Paul. That's you, Marvin Harrison, for the Colts. Julio Golden Touch will be our first hit out of pack number two, seventeen of ninety-nine. Single swatch for Atlanta. Paul Norse. And then Cody Kessler for the Cleveland Brownies, 119 of 149. Grand debut. That's John Cena's theme song for Cleveland. I'm watching the basketball game in the background, guys. Paul Norris. And then Paul Perkins finally hooks like the puppet. For the Giants, Mother Low Triple, 72 of 249. For those Giants in SKA, 1,000. No, I didn't see it. He was robbing. Oh, now you got me wanting to go look. Well, the first thing kind of on felony robbery charges. Oh, it just broke like six hours ago. Yeah. Oh wow. Was arrested Saturday in L.A. on a felony robbery charge, punching the manager of a downtown apartment complex where he is renting, pulling a knife on the man, and taking money that Gordon says was his security deposit. On November 20th, Gordon was arrested in Manhattan for driving with a forged license plate. He was given a ticket. Had a forged license plate? Really? He was under... In late October, he was ordered to undergo a psychiatric evaluation after an incident with a woman in the store he owns in Mount Vernon, New York. I guess they found him locked in the bathroom of the store and he had become... gotten an argument with her and become physical, throwing things and destroying things and then locking her in the store. I think my man with local SA after the uh, after the NFL or after the NBA days were over. That's crazy. No, I didn't know any of that. Yeah, thanks for the heads up on that one. Whew. All right, Golden Nuggets, Julian Edelman, the 225 for the Pats. And then, hey, Dion, 5 of 25. Two Dion's in the break for Atlanta, Paul and Norris. Cool parallel to 25. Hey, Paxton Lynch. For Denver, rookie quad 199 of 249. Gold prospecting for those Broncos might be. And then Mr. Funches. We're getting like second year guys as our autos. It's crazy. Autographed jersey for the Panthers. I like the auto. 47 of 99. For Carolina, Paul Norris. And then the final. Looks like we got a big one. A little quad. Kenneth Dixon, Devontae Booker, Tyler Irvin, and Paul Perkins. So Ravens, MJ Vivua. Broncos might be Tyler Irvin with Houston will be Paula Norris and with does G men and SKA 1000 so this will be we'll get this guy random at the end rookie Tetric quad 124 249 I like how all the all the patches are different colors that's cool purple orange black and 
and the uh, Giants blue. That's neat. Yeah, we'll get that guy random at the end. All right, number two. Nice patch. Looking for a bomb rookie. We've hit him in patches, but I'd like to see some ink. Let's get some ink. Darren Sproles, Golden Nuggets for the Chargers to 225. Terry Bradshaw, 5 of 50 parallels have been pretty solid too, all in all. For Pittsburgh, nice on for, for the Steelers. Hey, Guggenos. If one Lynch wasn't good, how about two? Be a mother load triple of Lynch, 83 of 249. Once again, for Denver, might be. And you're in the random too. Hey, look at that. Malcolm Mitchell for the Colts. That's decent. The big M Mitchell, sizable signatures. One of my favorite cards in this set as well. Again, just a huge swatch. They, they they use clear on the bottom, and it is a sticker auto that sticks over. But it looks like you can tell because the sticker is there, and it is an on-card auto. It's just across. That is just the, uh, the shadow piece there. But the, the lettering does stretch over and onto the mat. That's awesome. Nice hit for the Pats. Latsteta, that would be you, sir. And then the final card... We've got Devontae Booker. I think we got hits on all of them. At least we got hits all the way through. No parallels. No team symbol cards. 73 of 99. Golden ground game. Once again, Bronco. Mike B. Mike B, you crushed it, dude. Huge lot of Broncos in this break. And you're in this guy here. We're going to go for the random real quick. Again, Kenneth Dixon for the Ravens. Devontae Booker for the Broncos. Irvin. Tyler Irvin for the Texans. And then Paul Perkins for the G-Men. So put you guys in in the order you appear. So pop over to random.org really fast. It's what I use whenever we have no team denomination. In this case, we've got multiple team denominations. So with those Ravens, MJ Vivola. With the Broncos, Mike B. 5625. With Tyler Irvin and the Houston Texans, Paula Norris. And then finally with Paul Perkins. And his new quarterback as of today, and the Giants, NSKA 1000. So what we'll do is I'll randomize this list five times. The name at the top of the list at the end of five will get the card. So good luck, guys. Here we go. That is one. There's two. Again, here's our universal time stamp right here. It's 1121 on the East Coast where I'm at. Five hours behind normal our universal time. Number of times randomized there too. We'll stop when that number in the blue and white hits five, three, four. Going back and forth. Last one. Here we go. There's our fiver. Five times. NSKA 1000. Picking up with Paul Perkins and those Giants. Paul Perkins pulling it home, man. Let's get into some baseball. We'll do a hit parade series three baseball next. This some 16 tops archive signature series. These baseballs have been pretty solid so far. TriStar baseballs come out here soon. I'm excited for series eight. They're finally going to release them. Or series nine, excuse me. Eddie V. Greet. What's going on with the Angels, man? How you doing? Troy Bayou for CJ. What's going on? With the Bravos, Ken. Eddie the Great. Wow, you crazy. Chris didn't know socks. Dodge TNT. Ted W. What's going on, Ken? He hoes 51. Welcome as well with the Brewers. Slightly stupid with those twins. Ken, what's up, Matt with the Phillies? How you doing, brother? KGBG. Bob with the cards. Ted W. Bayou. Ted. And Bayou's going to finish this out with the Nationals. Got a few in this one, man. Got the feeling. Baseball stuff. That was your first random win? I do horrible in randoms. I'm so off. I, I've always done off in randoms. Let's get a bomb. Come on. One slab on card autographed card that isn't original in this pack. Going to Andres Galarraga. First of the print run, the 19. Oh, 119. That's my birthday. January 19th. That is awesome. Like, kind of like Dale, except that's my real one. 
Uh, nice hit for the Expos, which of course turned into the Nationals. By for CJ Dog, that will be you, sir. Again, on card auto, he always has a sick auto. Uh, hand numbered over there, or hand number, excuse me, um, press numbered over there. You have the archive slab there, and then of course they sleeve in case it. That is from what, 92 Bowman, I think? 91 Bowman, I was close. 92, nah, uh, yeah, 92 is the, uh, I still think that's 92. No, it's 91 Bowman. That is 91. Nice one, Andres Galarraga. And he Montreal Expos. He's like one of the only Expos I remember from back in the day when they were the Expos. All right, what do we got for baseball? We have number 47 of 150. This series is done. They're on series four now. Done pretty well on it. Did Bob Gibson we hit out of here? The Red Sox five signature ball was out of here. That was awesome. I definitely like the set. It's been fun breaking it. I don't. Th I think this. I don't know if this is my last one or if I have one more. I may have one more. Ooh, look at here. A little, little, little Rich Altman Hollywood Collectibles uh, certification. Those are nice. That could be really good. That was how our. That's what we got with our with the uh, the Red Sox ball. I don't want to flip. I'm just gonna leave it right there. I always like looking to see what we got. Right, where's my? No, it's not there. So I'm just gonna put it right there. Oh, it's a Whitey Ford. Whitey Ford Hall of Fame 74. That is awesome. I've pulled Whitey Ford's auto maybe once. You can definitely tell that's recently autographed too. Cool, it's cool signature, but it's definitely one of his one of his newer autos as he as he gets up in age, of course. That is awesome, awesome, awesome hit. Who had them? Who had those stankies? Bayou for CJ Dog. That is you, man. You cleaned it, dude. Man, that's awesome on the Whitey Ford ball. Yeah, there it is. There's your Rich Altman Hollywood collectible cert. Yeah, no name on. I thought it had. I thought it would tell you on the back. And usually they have a sticker on the inside of the box, like right there. It tells you, but this one was kind of obvious. I guess who it was. There's your. Uh, there's your certification right there, dude. That's awesome, man. Nice hit. That's a nice hit. Cool hit, man. That set has done us really well. I've been impressed with it. I'll definitely, I'll pick up some more of the Series 4s. Because we've done really, really well on it, all in all. And I'll wrap it up. What I do, man, is there's a giant hole in the bottom of the box. And I actually slam the signature right in the bottom of that. So that way it floats. And I'll put that, that collectible card right back on top just like it came. Keeps the ball from moving around in the package, man. That's awesome. What a hit. Hall of Fame 74 inscribed as well. That's awesome, dude. Nice pop. All right, we'll slip over to football for a minute, and we'll come back and do that bat here. We'll do a Leaf Mini Helmet next. With some 11 Prime signatures. We had two box break, number 27, Davo Seurat. Buy you with the Ravens, Bobby Kern, Wildbo, Hunter, JNC with the Bears. Kim with the Bengals, Darren with Cleveland. Darren, um, I'll email you, man. Text me tonight after the break, and I'll, I think I have something you might that might work. T. Holmes 02 with the Cowboys. How's it going? Mighty Mitten. Got to be a Lions guy. DMP with the Texans. Keith, what's going on with the Jags? Scott got the Chiefs and the Chargers. Bye bye, you Steeler fan. Dodge with the Raiders. Bayou Scott, DNPC, Hawking it, Steelers fan, slipping in the Bucks, Darren and Scott Marshall at the bottom. We have pulled a few Winstons out of here. Mike Evans is another one until you see a good bit out of with the Leaf helmets. All right, let's grab some signatures. Let's do that first. Push these cards back. Get this back back just a little bit more. There we go. Maybe. I need a little bit more space. Yeah, 11 prime six, one pack. Schultz, I'm still waiting to hear. Yeah, guys, I, I did email because I believe that that box of 2012 from the uh, from the mixer was uh, was resealed. 
So I'm trying to get another box for free. So if I get it, we'll break it. I'm definitely trying, though. I wrote him. I haven't heard a peep back from him yet, so. I gave links to the video, timestamps, the whole nine. I was like, here, y'all check it, man. This thing was, it was as fake as it could be. It was definitely a repack. And I know it wasn't their fault, but it's not my fault either. So. All right, here we go. All right, good luck, guys. Two base to four ninety nine. You get a prime proof to nine or less, typically, and then we'll get one hit, always an autograph. I'm telling you, dude. I tell you, what's going on, Paul? Good to see you, man. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving. And absolutely, what again? We were talking about it earlier. Why don't you just start Peterman instead of starting Gino? I don't get it. Four forty nine to four ninety nine. Warren Moon. Ryan Matthews to four ninety nine. Go Chargers. Mendenhall, red, 58 of 99 for those Steelers. Wow, you with the Steelers. And then our hit, 14 of 40. Interesting number in this set. It's a silver. Being Austin Collie for the Indianapolis Colts. Bayou 4, CJ Dog, that's you, man. Wow, you've been getting the right teams the last couple of breaks, dude. You've been hitting. Look at that silver version of Mr. Collie for Indy. They should give me a case. I wish. If they gave me a case, we'd break the case. I, I, don't, I really don't care. Like, I just want, I want something. I want to get compensated something for it. I definitely do. I fight for my peeps, man. Like 17 week mini. We got shafted on that for sure. I don't appreciate it. Yeah, we did a box of, incidentally, guys, yeah, we did. We had a big mixer break we did. We did a box of 12 prime signatures in it. And we got three pair, our three base cards in a parallel, no hit. And then we found that we looked like it looks like it was repacked. One Panini sticker on there. I don't think so. Right, what we got here? Hey, we haven't seen him in a while. We're probably due. We're due for my boy. It's been a minute since we've seen a star. Who had him? T Home Zero Two. You have the Cowboys. And that will be you with a Beckett Cert I21736 of Mr. Randy White. Always has a solid auto, huge ink. And always has Hall of Fame 94 written underneath it. And I've always liked how he just tailors it to the helmet. It always has curvature to it when he signs. But uh, Beckett Sir is inside the front of the helmet there. Right behind the chin strap. But man, nice hit. I always like pulling. We don't see, we, I used to pick because we saw him so much. But we don't really see him that much anymore. He's kind of a rare one to get now for us at least. So that was a nice one, man. Cool hit for the Cowboys. We haven't seen a Cowboy in a minute pop, so... But we had a nice string. We, I think we got uh, the great the coup d'état on that was the uh, the Starback full size. That thing was awesome. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't get why. Yeah. I have no clue why they they are starting here. I we'll see how long it lasts. It can't be any worse than that whole that whole fiasco with the Buffalo Bills, man. That was that was fantastic. Get rid of your boy. Your team's got a winning record. You get rid of your boy. You put a new guy in, and the guy throws five picks in the first half. Five. Like that's harder to do that than it is to throw three touchdowns in the first half. I think, isn't it? Maybe. All right, hit parade twenty. Bad is next. Yeah, the baseball mixer we did not. The football mixer we did. No, baseball stuff's not filled up. I'm debating on putting it on putting it on eBay and just see if I can fill it that way. That might be the way to do it. All right, this is lucky number seven. Gokesto with the Angels. How's it going? Slightly stupid going deep backs. Bob Kern, Toby with the Orioles. Caleb Big, Keith Baker. One of my one of my puppies is named Toby, and some of my daughters chuckle behind me. DMP Auto well with the Reds, JNC Darren Wyatt with the Royals. Toby got the Brujas as well. I'd love to pull Paul Molitor. Yeah, exactly. DMP Bayou Bob Kern with the Pirates. Troy always with those Mariners. Darren. Bayou, Darren, and Bayou at the bottom. We were It was supposed to be Cyber Monday, but we didn't fill it. Here, hang on. I'll show you what it is. 
you weren't in the room, Paul. Do, or just yeah. Go back and, and on my YouTube channel, there's a video that shows the uh, the football mixer, like the uh, the description of it before we did it, not the actual mixer itself. And towards the end of that video is a is a is about the baseball mixer too. We were supposed to do it Cyber Monday, but yeah, again, we didn't fill it, so so we're still trying to fill. I definitely want to do it. It's a stack, man. The stack's sitting right above my head. It's like seventeen hundred, and I think the receipt was like seventeen eighty five. Yeah, I'm not, I mean, again, I'm, man, I'm not doing them to make money. This is just for fun. I did these for fun just for over the Thanksgiving weekend. I wanted to do something cool. And I've never done, like, a buy-in mixer like that. So I figured, what the heck. And we're definitely going to do it again. The football one, we killed it on the football one. We'll do really, we did really well on that. So we'll do that again. We'll change a couple of the sets up this time. For sure. I, I definitely wouldn't do the Immaculate again. I would step off on that. I'd rather do two box, do a box of Spectre or something do Immaculate again. I kind of like Immaculate, but it's, just, it's so hard to pop a big one. It really is in that set. Watch case breaks. You'll see what I mean. All right, here we go. Once case slab card. We'll go Raleigh. Always like it. One of the coolest pieces I've ever pulled was the 8x10. I probably mentioned it before, but the 8x10 of him with no stash. I've never seen And it was autographed. I've never seen anything like it. 18 to 29 on this guy. That is 84 OPG? 85 OPG. I was close. I was close on Raleigh. That is as a Milwaukee Brewer Toby. That is you, man. Sweet, dude. I always like pulling the OPG hits. Those are the, those were the hard ones to get. And then you had Desert Storm in the early 90s. Dude, you missed it the other night. We pulled a uh, pulled a Griffey Jr. Uh, redemption out of here. It's numbered to 50, but it was still. I've never seen a redemption card come out of Archive Six at all. And uh, and it did. I was I was that was the first time I've ever seen that. So it's pretty cool. All right, here we go. Series 20 bat. All right, this these are doing a course by Hit Parade. Or Dakar World. Hit them up at DakarWorld.com. This is 98 of 100. All right, so let me do some maneuvering with my camera so we can get this whole thing into focus. All right, so here's our bat. I'm going to run into the wall there. So our security seal is as such. It is solid. Oh, and a little hair on there. I don't want to do that. It's so we're sitting on the ground. Had the dogs clipped the other day, and there you go. So there's our security seal again. It is all the way solid, all the way through. If you peel it, it does void right there, and then once it voids, it will not stick again. It comes right off. So this guy is good all the way through. So let me see if I can keep this all in camera. Again, we are still number, uh, it's upside down, but it is number 98 of 100 still. Same bat. All right, second one here. Again, same thing, security seal. I'll peel up somewhere. And guys, I, I do this before everyone. It's just to show you guys, but it's also if I check them too. I honestly don't check. They come in like a, they, you, they, they ship me these things in the weirdest way. They come in those um, those UPS triangular tubes, and then they tape like five or six of them together. Like it's ridiculous. A three two oh five oh nine five seven three. Again, we're solid all the way through on that guy. No voids or anything like that. So until now. Okay. Uh, baseball jersey is next. Jay, by the way, brother, how you doing? I'm, I'm really interested to see what, what's coming out of here. This thing is beat. This thing is beat. got here. It's Rich Altman Hollywood Collectibles Certified. Louisville Slugger M9 of Mr. Carlos Santana. 
Oh, snap. Game used 2012. And so why? I want to know. Why does it... I just tilted the camera. So why does it have game used written on it twice? Just to make... Like, like no, really. This is game used. Yeah, it says like 2010 up there is written game used bat. His, his signature's up top. Yeah, from 2012. That is sick. Nice hit for Cleveland. JNC cards. Oh, did they really? I have quite a few of the Desert Storm cards. I picked up a lot from a guy around here for like 250 bucks, and it was um, on oh, it was like 36 5,000 count boxes of cards, and they were all it was all junk. It was all like 90s stuff, 90s, late 80s, early 90s. There was a few decent things in there. I found like 20 Griffey Jr. rookies from Don Russ, um, a bunch of Nolan Ryan's, like stuff like that. But then there was like 500 Desert Storm cards, and that was what made the whole lot worth it. Genuine H238 is not a hollow point on the end of the bat. That is awesome, dude. Nice hit. That is cool for Cleveland. That's the second Rich Altman's piece we've gotten tonight. I thought it might have been Carlos Santana, the singer. I was like, really? That's why I was curious to see what was going to come out of here. But no, indeed, it was the Indian. Because I know he's he has signed memorabilia. He's signed sports memorabilia in the past. I've heard of it, at least. And cool hit, dude. Nice for Cleveland. Chris is in here. Chris probably a little jealous of that one. And if you're not a Cleveland guy, hit up Crazy Concepts. He definitely is. Had all of them but the chipper? Oh, really? Are they worth that much? I have two chipper rookies from Desert Storm. That's why I asked. But see, I've got like the cool not like I have I have the Ripken eighty nine Fleer. I have all four versions of the of the Ripken. I have the no name on front Frank Thomas. Like I have all those cool. Those are things like I picked up along the way. I paid two fifty for that Thomas. I'll never forget that. I bought it at a card show when I was probably fourteen or fifteen years old. In ninety three, ninety four. I hit parade 19 baseball jersey. It is next. As a kid, I was real big on error cards. I love getting the error cards. Like the, the, the uh, Juan Gonzalez reverse negative from 90 Donruss. Yeah, you te you messaged. I didn't get the message back today, but I saw that, dude. That is so awesome. That's a keeper for sure, man. If you and if you decide to get rid of it, man, message me first before you do. I would, I'd be interested just to have something like that. Would be cool. I've pulled it a, a couple times, but he is a, he's a hard one to get. But man, I love it. Anytime you pull a Dr. J, that's awesome. Bayou King Keith Darren, and again, Taryn, I'll, after the break, I'll message you and I'll shoot you my phone number. I love it. music, man, with the Cubbies. There you are, Jay Dodge Bob Red Dog with those Indians. Come on, Nolan Ryan. I hear you, dude. Me, you and me both, I'd love to pull one. Shirlene, Eddie, Ken. You'd just be handing me the gun left and right this week if that was the case. Eddie V. Greets with the Mets. That's how my that's how my Ryan jersey came, Eddie. Was as a Met. Bayou, Ken, Corey, Bob, Red Dog, Keith, Park Hill 158, Schultz, DNP, and M. Kane at the bottom. With those nationals. Got 700 for it? That's not bad. I haven't booked them in a while. I can't book anything right now. I'm still waiting on... I'm still waiting on... Uh, then to reauthorize my Beckett. I already did it and paid for it and all that. Just, well, I think it paid for it. It went through at least. Alright, let's do some archives first. Last box of archives tonight. After this, I want to take a quick second and get us caught up. For those last two that just ended, the Leaf jersey and then the uh, Hit Parade full size helmet, that just finished up a few minutes ago. We'll break that here in about 10 minutes. Alright, one more time. What can we get? How about an Andy Pettit 1 of 1 for. Ooh, for the New York Yankees, that is out of Bowman. That is sweet. 
CJ Dog, that will be you. That is indeed second year. At, oh, it is a re, this is a reprint. Yeah, it is a reprint. Tops reprint right there. I'll say I have a few of the original card with the whiteboard. I didn't know they made one with the blue. But yeah, I have a few of these in the original form. Man, that is awesome. Nice hit, dude. One of one slab. Willie Mays Hayes would be amazing, man. You saw we pulled the Dorn the other day. Crazy got that one. We pulled that a couple weeks back. The Roger Dorn jersey. So awesome. Man, nice hit, dude. Nice on the one on one pettit. Whew. Yeah, you know, we're doing cut. We haven't hit a cubby in a minute. 87 of 100. Last cubby we hit was the, uh, the Kyle Schwarber baseball. Couldn't think of it. Out of TriStar. The uh, Chicago Cubs World Series uh, champion in Scribe Ball. That's the last cubby we've seen in the memorabilia stuff, so we're definitely, dude, not a Hall of Famer. That's right. Not a Hall of Famer. We used to get into some heated conversation over baseball Hall of Famers, not Hall of Famers, whether they were, whether they're not. See, I still, I see, my debate is still on Eli. Like, no offense, Giants fan, I just don't know if he's a Hall of Famer or not. He owes David Tyree one Super Bowl ring for sure. I'll see what we got. Number 18. Is that a suitor? I think it is. There's the autograph. Run like maze, hit like haze. This one, I love, every time that, it's like that movie and Goodfellas are like the two movies where like if I'm flipping through channels and they're on, I just stop and I instantly start watching it. Did we get a Bruce Suter? No, it's a Brett Saberhagen. Oh, sweet. Sweet. Should be a, usually a Royal, but it can be the Royal of Meta. I always have to check with Saberhagen's to see. It looks like every bit of a Royal to me. Absolutely a Royal. No question for Kansas City. Eddie the Greet. That is you, sir. Here, get back to the auto. I was pulling out just to look. Flip that back back over. There we go. There you go. Out of the bag so you can actually see the ink. There you go, man. That is awesome. JSA Cert, Dakar World Cert 37066. And the JSA is WP474228. But according to this bag, I think all we got was the David Adams cert. We didn't get the JSA with it. I don't like that. And a lot of times we'll get one but not the other. It does happen, with, especially with the car world stuff I've seen a few times. Usually they're pretty on point with leaf and whatnot. If you get one cert, you t if it's got two on it, you typically get them both. You can always write JSA and get the certs if they don't have them with. Yeah, you think Saberhagen, he writes it, it's really short for as much as it is. Nice hit. Eddie the Greet. All right. All right, give me a second. Let me catch up. We got two to go. We'll do the jersey next. some prime signatures and then we will end on that full size helmet and again those were the last two that ended on eBay today yeah, Utah's up heavy on Denver so I guess I heard the boys got their suspensions reduced to uh, what is it now they're one game apiece on the suspensions for uh, what to leave in Crabtree So if you, it, my thing is, is like, look, if you're gonna if you're gonna reduce it from two to one, then why not just give them one to start with and just be done with it? It was a sil It was. I thought I thought the suspension was a little harsh, regardless. I thought it was it was too much to start with, but I just don't understand it. I guess it just confuses me. All right, Leaf jersey with some eleven prime six number nine. What's up, MVP? What a rod thing, Jay. Dodge, Ken, Latstetter. Jay Zook, what's up with the Panthers? Welcome him. Kane, Wildbow Hunter, Purple Sonar going brownies. You gotta be a brownies guy, Purple. 
I see you with the brownies are good, bitch. Schultz, to go in Dallas, slightly stupid Darren. Oh, did you, Schultz? I'll check you out, man, definitely. Wild Bo, 100 Pete for room. With the Chargers. Wild Bo, Eddie, Ken, Gary McMurtry, what's going on with the Pats? Welcome back, brother. Holy cow, Mets fan. Holy cow, your Giants, man, are like a giant dumpster fire. Like worse than the Chiefs the last six games. Bob, Ken, Will, Shaw, Darren, Wild Bo, Rebel, 0718. Talk about a throwback. Yep, we pulled an A-Rod a little while back, yeah. Will and Sean's at the bottom. That A-Rod was awesome. Here we go. Prime six. One and four. Two to four ninety-nine. One, one prime proof to ninety-nine. Hopefully we will not need that checklist. Hard open on that pack. What's going on? Something don't want to come out. Joe Klecko to four ninety nine. We'll start us off. I think I may have peeped this. I don't know. We'll see. Harlan Hill to four ninety nine. Big Ben to four ninety nine. So I want to know what the number was because I think I think I saw the name right. Oh never mind. Then fifty seven and one ninety nine. There's no way this is who I thought it was. I thought, I thought I saw Ray Lewis. Never mind. Jake Locker. Talk about two ends of the spectrum. There it is. Jake for the Titans. Will Shaw. You'll be 32. And, dude, you're a pup, man. You, tomorrow's your birthday. Oh, you got a break on your birthday, man. You got to go live and do like a live in-room break on your birthday, man. Because just so, for some reason, you'll pull really well. I have a feeling. No matter what you pick up. You'll hit gold on it, man. You'll do one just for just for a joke. Oh, that's right. Yeah, then upper deck didn't include it. As long as it has the sticker on it, you're still good. But yeah, I tell you, man, it's, it, it, and I love the Dakar World stuff, but a lot of their stuff has come like that. I've noticed that. And it bugs me. I mean, it's long, and again, so, I mean, and I've got pieces like me personally, my collection. I've got a lot of pieces I don't have to search for, you know. But I had the stickers are on them, and if you go check the sticker number, you're good. But, uh, but I don't have to search for them. And it, it makes me mad. But I'm just like, yeah, it's just something you got to keep track of too. I used to have a book that I just keep them in now. And it's fading out. Uh, see, we used to do um, a long time ago. I broke. Uh, 07 sweet spots, baseball and football both. And football, is, you could do it now because they're just helmets. But on the 07 sweet spots, baseball, they were baseball autographs. It was actually like Pete, like the sweet spot of the baseball was cut out and embedded in the card. And uh, and I love the set. And I, you can find it now. I would break it now. But the problem is all the autos are faded. Like they're just faded. I, it's very rare to catch a clean auto in, in the set because it's 10 years old. And it sucks because there's some really, really cool hits in that set. And that's one I would love to break, but you, it just, uh, it's just, it's full of disappointment. Because you get a good one, and you're like, oh. To preserve them, there's really nothing you can do other than putting them in the cases, sleeving them and casing them. But, like, you're, you know, it, I don't, a lot of people don't know this, but you know those cases expire after five years after purchase. Like, as far as the coating that prevents, like, if you have it, like, out on display on your shelf, you want to change your cases every few years. And of course, a few of you know, you get the older cases that have the orange, the yellow tinge to them. They don't do that so much anymore. All right, what do we got? Oh. Oh. Wapo Hunter. How about a Jerry Rice dude? White jersey at that. Holy hit. And it's always big. Look at the ink, man. Right across the zero. Happy birthday, MVP Elite. Dude, that is sick, man. 109012 is your certification. The leaf on the bottom down there, 109012. Man, Wild Bo, that is quite a nice hit. 
No, but it still sucks, though, dude. It definitely sucks. I 100% I agree. Oh, that is cool. I love that it's white. Every time I get him, it's red. It's, it's I think it's the first time I've seen him white. I love getting white jerseys. They're always the prettiest, I think. Except for me, I'm a Vikings guy, so all my stuff is, is purple because I just love purple. That is sick, dude. That looks awesome. Nice hit. Nice hit. Whoo! Quite possibly the greatest player ever with one of the greatest work that work ethics bar none. Trade a Jim Kelly for that. Yeah, I bet. Somebody's willing to trade you a Jim Kelly while Bo let him know. Alright, one more to go. Yeah, this is weird. A series I'm gonna have I've had a few of these. I've got nine I had nine of them total, so I go that and then series nineteen I have two of and that's it. So there's only going to be two of those. And then Series 20 just released. I have a few of those coming in. But they're moving right through them. All right, last one. This is number 54 of 100. So you subtract, we get, what, 36? And if you divide, it's 3. So 36 and 3 is thir Willie Parker. There you go. It's Willie, it's Willie Parker, right? 39. You met you met Fergie walking down the street and got an auto. That's awesome. All right, this is it. Last break of the night. Eleven prime six and a hit parade series. Eighteen full size helmet. Lucky number seven. Remember, Billy's been popping big. Rice in a Seahawks jersey, dude. I, that's like that's like right there with Joe Montana in a Chiefs jersey. That's like impossible. I'd love to see Brett Favre jersey sign in, in Minnesota, but I've got the mini helmet. Never seen a jersey. Ken, Alley, Cat, Darren with the Ravens, Bob, Wild, Bo, Ken, Will Shaw with Cleveland, Eddie. And again, guys, I am going to be shipping probably tonight and in the morning and then throughout the day tomorrow and then possibly the next day. But it takes me a minute to ship you guys because there's a lot of packages. But, uh, but I will get you guys taken care of in the next day or so and get everything shipped out. This includes all of the... Uh, Everything from the uh, the Mega Mixer uh, football Mega Mixer from Black Friday as well. Bobby Dog, Shirlene, Kern, Garrett, Bob, you got it. Bob got the feeling. Bob's picked up a couple of helmets this week. Darren Ronster, good to see your brother with the Patriots. Happy belated Thanksgiving, my friend. Get the G-Man as well. Eddie, Bob, Ronster got the Seahawks, Yamsack, Lat Stetter. Ken at the bottom. Skins have been popular lately. Jay, I told you that penny, hold on to that, man. I, I'd be interested in that. Message me and let me know what you're looking to get for, like cash or trade or whatever. But I'd be interested in the penny. I'd prefer him as a uh, as a ma as a ma in the Orlando Magic jersey. But I will uh, I'd definitely take a sign. I've always wanted a penny piece. I love watching Penny as a kid. Pretty near with my AI. I've got an AI with the old school Denver. Thanks to uh, JNC. JNC took care of me on that one a while back. All right, this is it. Last card break of the night. Can we end on a bomb? I'd like to. Just no redemption. No redemption. All right, Des. Des will start us to 4.99. Hey, Drew Brees to 499. They have come out of the fire swinging this year. They've been doing really, really well. Felix Jones just ended the Rams. Or they, or the Rams just ended their win streak. 87 of 99. But they've been solid the rest of the year. Ooh, 21 to 25 gold of Russ Grimm for the Skins. Ooh, Ken Enoch. Oh, dude, that is awesome. Ken, I will tell you, I know if you're not a Skins guy, man, hit up Kutch99. I'm sure he would love to get a hold of that card. Oh, that is sick, man. Nice hit. That's just a cool piece. Man, I'm just admiring that for a minute. It's, it's, I think I've pulled Russ Grimm's auto maybe two times. That's cool. That's why I love Prime 6. You really can get some cool pieces in this set. That's awesome. Nice for the Skins. All right, let's get it one more. Series, again, Series 18. Number 54 of 100. 
I mean, they always shrink wrap. These things are always shrink wrap. They don't do the seal. I wish they still would still put some kind of seal across that, but they never do. It is just as you see it. I mean, that rust grab was cool. Solid pulse tonight, all the way around. Let's see if we can end the night all right. Yeah, Jay, message me and let me know on on the penny for sure. Yeah, I would love to add that to my collection. I was a big basketball watcher in the early mid '90s and whatnot. So, all right, let's see how we can get. It. You guys know how it will work. We'll steal a line out of MVP's book. No matter what, you know what's going to be in here. It's a stupid bag. I packed this one full of paper. bid tonight. No, I don't think it's going to be a cowboy. I don't know. I don't know. Let's find out. I don't want to look at the... Uh, I've never tried to look at the sticker because I want to be surprised with you guys when we get it. It is definitely not a cowboy. That is as big of a logo as you can get. is enormous. Look at the size of it. That's a Mike Evans autographed full size. I said earlier that we pull Mike here and there for Tampa Bay Yam Sack 1. But dude, look at the size of that. I've never seen one that big. That's crazy. Little ripples in the sticker the thing is so big. I'm going to fix that real quick right up top there. These bigger ones, sometimes they will do that. You just have to run a thumb over here and there. Dude, that's huge. Who had them? Yam Sack 1. Break time, you're about to go live? Oh, cool, man. I'll come watch you for a bit. Absolutely. I never get to really watch you, so I will, definitely. Yep, Sack, break time's looking for it. If you're interested, let him know. Let him know. Sweet way to end. Holy hit. By the way, break time, how you doing, man? Hope you're good, brother. Hope you are good. Man, what a great way to end the night. That thing is enormous. I love it, dude. That is cool. So the question is, where, what's there, sir? It was JS, there it is. JSA WP593. Uh, 902. Yes, yeah, so the mask is like silver too. It's like metal almost. It's it's weird looking. It's not like the standard mask. Yeah, that's a good way to end. I'll take that. That's a nice piece. I don't get excited. I get excited about Mike Evans. He's had a quiet year this year, but so is Tampa Bay. But man, that is a cool hit. Love the helmet. And yeah, great way to end, guys. That is it. For the evening, I am back tomorrow night. Yeah, y'all definitely check out break time. I'll, I'll run over there too with break time as well and try and catch on, jump on to you as well. I'm not in, but I at least want, I at least want to see what you get. I watch your videos here and there when I can. But yeah, guys, this is everything for tomorrow night again. Back at 11 o'clock tomorrow night. On the non-football nights, I pop in at 11, but then football nights, I get 10. That way, we can watch some football together while we're breaking. Uh, Series 8 baseball, Leaf Mini Helm, 12 limited two box. My last one of those is tomorrow night. We have murdered it on that set. So let's try and pull one more big. This is my last go at it. And again, I got all the ones that Blowout had, so I had I had all of them. That was it. One of our last Hit Parade 20 bats, Hit Parade 19 baseball jersey. We're going to try again on that tomorrow, number 12. 17 Origins 2 box. This is my last one. Last one I have. Leaf jerseys tomorrow, Hit Parade 40 jersey, and the Leaf full-size helmet, which are sold out everywhere as of today. I went looking today for more helmets. 
and uh, no leaf full sizes, so they are done. So I've got a few of those left, but not many. So check those out. Those are ending tomorrow. And guys, thanks for everything. If you need anything, of course, message me. And again, I'm going to try and get all the shipping done throughout the night tonight into tomorrow and then tomorrow evening as well. So just watching your tracking number should appear here soon. And if you need anything, guys, like I said, message me, please. Uh, guys, have a great evening, and I'll see you all tomorrow at 11 p.m. Have a wonderful evening, guys. Get through hump day well. I'll see you soon. Cheers.